everyone and welcome to the first part of my universe or sorry discover university let's play so here we have our sim her name is sierra sienna i'm gonna do this this whole let's play watch but her name is sienna she is a young adult ready to start her life as a university student um in this pack there's one new aspiration which is the academic aspiration and let's just read what this has to do so this sim has proven they have what it takes to ex excel at university along the way they learned a lot allowing them to gain more skills using electromagnetic research archive magazines machine and earn money from publishing research papers to contribute to and contribution knowledge the sim wants to attend university and to get a job but most importantly learn quickly i'm just going to show you the house and the sims that are here unfortunately her dad is at work right now so we won't get to see him until later on today let's go and uh let's start with the house tour so we get into the house I forgot to paint this wall, but it's a little entrance with some shoes and, you know, the door, a plant, whatever. You come into here, we have uh, the baby's plate things. We have, you know, a d TV with a stinky plate. We'll just ignore that for now. Um, I wanted to try and, you know, explore with other colors and whatnot. So, you know, we, we have a blue kitchen. I <laughs> And plants that are glitching through the wall, but we're just going to ignore that for now. If we come over here, we have a little secret doorway over here that brings us to a nice laundry room. Next, we have our... F oh, hello, Liam. <laughs> so this is Liam. <laughs> Very sad and cranky Liam. He is uh, Sienna's little brother. Who I don't know why he's just hanging out in the bathroom. I also realized there is no potties in this house for poor little Liam. So I'm going to have to fix that. But here's our nice little bathroom. I think it's really cute. I tried to... I want to keep it blue, but it turned out to be purple. Okay, now if we go upstairs, we come over here. It's a really big open space. I don't really know what to do with it. So we have like a computer that's the family computer, a little like reading area. And uh, yeah, we go in here. We have a second bathroom, which is a little fancier. We got a big tub. Uh, we got, you know, toilet and everything. I gotta put a potty in here as well. <laughs> this is Liam's room. This is supposed to be a custom content dresser, but it got deleted and I didn't notice. So I'm going to change that. But I wanted to give him, you know, a dinosaur child theme and say with the blue and greens. Thankfully, I didn't put a custom bed because that would have been horrendous. And uh, yeah, so I, I don't really know what I was going for this, but I, I like how it turned out. Kind of like the pinky purples. I'm sure the dad isn't too pleased with it, but you know what? It's not. It's fine. So let's go to the last place of the house. So back in the kitchen, you may have noticed there's a staircase over here with this also empty space. But if we go downstairs, going down the stairs, if we come in here, we have a third bathroom. There's no lights on, but it's also the purple. All the bathrooms are more or less the same, staying with that purple, blue, white. And then in here, we have Sienna. Oh, and there's mom. <laughs> we have Sienna's room. Uh, obviously, she won't be in here for that much longer. But for the time being, this is her room. It's nice and purple and it's nice and bright. This is her mother, Amanda, who is very, jeez Louise, who is very proud of her daughter. She was one of my sims in the Island Living Let's Play. That was the lifeguard. She's still a lifeguard. She has maxed out that, um... Not skill, but that career. And uh, she settled down, had two kids, and now one of her kids are all grown up and ready to go to university. And she's looking at things on Amazon. I don't know. So yeah, those are the Sims, and that's the house. You'll meet Father later on during the day. But uh, to start with... To start with, I'm going to put the potties in the house that are needed for the baby. So give me a second. Okay, we got some potties. So, we're going to start off this university let's play, right? We're going to kick mom off the computer. Just go stand over there. You can do something else. I don't really care. <laughs> and you, my dear, we're going to go check out the computer. So, there are two ways to apply for university from what I've known. There's, you can click on the computer, university. You can do research, apply, or do some scholarships. Let me move my phone so that it stops buzzing on the microphone. The other way, whoops, sorry. 
is if you go on the mailbox over here, you also have the university. You can ap apply for scholarships or just apply to university in general. I want to do the research because I know nothing of this pack other than there's bikes <laughs> and the creative sim objects. So let's go university, research university. We'll do it for both. Research both of them. Okay, so researching the universities will bring up a panel like this one. University of Brightchester. The University of Brightchester holds nearly a millennium of history within its traditional halls of learning. Having thought taught every type of student from royal to unknown, the university prides itself in educating both minds and morals, modeling students into well-rounded, outstanding sims ready to enter the world and make a difference. Organizations... Brightchester Spirit Core, Art Society, ooh, an art society, and the Debate Guild. So, both univers- so you can study any degree at both universities from what I understand. However, each university has, like, their, um, like, known degrees. Like, for where I live, there are certain universities that are known for better- or not for better, but they're better for those types of degrees. So- if you want to go into somewhere more artsy, there's some universities that have a focus on art. If you want to go somewhere that's more, you know, environmental science, we also have those ones. So I think that's kind of the idea that they were going for here. So you see that we have distinguished degrees and then basic degrees. I don't know if basic is the right word, but let's just call them basic degrees. <laughs> so for Brightchester, we have in the distinguished degrees, art history, communication, culinary arts, drama, fine art, history, and language and literature. And then for the degrees, we have biology, computer science, economy, economics, geez, Louise, physics, psychology, and villainy, villainy. I don't know what that word is. I've never seen that word in my life, but I kind of want her to go into the arts just because I went into the arts, not like fine arts. I went into music, but music is not in this game, so I can't do that. But uh, maybe we'll be going to Brightchester. I do like the dragon, so maybe we're going to go there. But let's let's research uh, Foxbury and see what that's all about. So Foxbury Institute. Consistently rated as a premier university, Foxbury Institute boasts a modern campus with impressive facilities and broad swatch of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective fields. This university is always looking for students who dare to dream big. So the organizations here are Foxbury Spirit Squad, the Brainiacs, and Bot Savant. Oh, but the Simbots. Mm, okay. Uh, so for here, we could see that they changed a little bit. So the distinguished degrees here are biology, computer science, economics, physics, and psychology, and villainy, villain, villainy, I don't know. And then degree, art, history, communication, culinary arts drama fine arts history and language and literature hold on i need to search what the heck villainy means okay that's what i thought because there's villain in the word but it's wicked or criminal behavior so yeah those are the two universities that we are going to do or to do that we have the option to pick for now i want to see can we email former guidance oh we could do a lot of things okay let's email our counselor and then let's review the packet. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, so Sienna has the best chance of earning these scholarships. Windingbird resident, uh, residents of Windingbird may be eligible for this grant, not eligible for adults or elders. Scholarship value of 300 simoleons. Okay, so knowing your scholarship, distinguish, distinguished scholarships. Sims who have been accepted into distinguished degree programs will automatically receive scholarships with an amount based on how distinguished degree they've gone into. Working with the Sims grade and skills before applying can lead to more degree acceptance, in turn, more scholarship money. Oh, there's a lot of information here. Okay. Skill scholarships. Sims who have developed any number of practical skills are eligible to apply for a variety of skill-based scholarships. Those who spent those, hour, those hours spent working cooking, fishing, handiness, or any other skill can turn into a scholarship fund. However, these scholarships are targeted at younger students and are not available to adults or elders. Well, that's kind of ageist. What if an adult wants to go back to university? They should be allowed a scholarship. Okay. Sports and esports scholarships. There are a few scholarships that require Sims to participate in after-school activities as part of their requirement. An athletic scholarship requires a Sim to be a scooter soccer 
team player while esports scholarships require them to be esport competitors. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. A sim cannot be accepted by both of these scholarships at the same time. Okay. Need-based scholarships. Every sim deserves a university education and the need-based education for all and helping hand scholarship are designed to give sim with... Oh my god, I can't read. Sims from households with less chance to attend attend. Sims with less savings and assets are encouraged to apply. Okay, well we can't really do that because I cheated to get this house, so we're gonna we're gonna skip that one. Career scholarships. Universities want to encourage younger sims that may already be dipping their toes in a job market. These scholarships offer teens and young adults sims who have achieved these some amount of career success on their way to help pay for university education that can boost them in their career choice in the future. Then resident grant. So that's kind of, I think, what the, um, the little pop-up was saying. So for teens and young adults, the place they live offer grant providing students financial help in pursuing university education. Each location has its own grant amount and the students are encouraged to apply and represent their community. Okay, so we have a lot of scholarships. Uh, because I haven't played this family much and I kind of just made the Sims, you know what I mean? She has no skill. <laughs> I think we're just going to let's apply for scholarships. Let's see what happens and then we'll apply for university. Okay, so wait, I didn't read what that said. I think we have to be in university before we can apply for scholarships. Okay, so let's apply for university. Okay, Sienna's university application is on its way. The university will look over the application and mail the results sometimes in the next few days. Sienna may also check her application status at any time on the computer. Okay, well, let's see what happens if I check both my application statuses. So for the university and for the scholarship. The application is still going through the system. Please check back soon. Okay. Winding Bird resident is pending. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just have them, you know, live <laughs> until her university application gets back in the mail. And then we'll see if she got accepted. All right. Dad just came home. So uh, here's Jonathan. Uh, he just came back home from work. He is a conservationist, in the chief of sustainability officer. So... Yeah, this is Jonathan, if you remember him from our, or from my, uh, he's so mad. <laughs> so there you go, that's the family. Uh -huh. So it's been like a day and a half. I decided since I want her to go into the fine arts, I got her this, um, easel. So I filled up this empty space. Now that it's been a couple days, let's see what happens if we go university. Uh, let's review our scholarship. Nope, that's not what we want to do. Amanda, you're getting, you're distracting me. Uh, wait, what happened to my applicant? Oh, I'm on the wrong sim. Doi. <laughs> so, application still going through the system. Please check back soon. Not awarded. Okay, so we didn't get the scholarship, which, you know, it's fine. I, I don't really, I'm not too worried about that, but I'll just keep getting her to live her life. Hopefully, we'll get our university acceptance or rejection soon hopefully she gets a, uh, accepted i don't know what to do if she gets declined <laughs> so I'll, I'll come back when that comes into the mail all right so we're now at day two <laughs> i haven't got any um notification about whether or not she got uh, accepted to university but let's check our application status one more time see if there's any update on that oh acceptance letter so does that mean Oh, we did not get accepted. Okay, so she can work on her skill and reapply for consideration for these degree programs. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so let's let's try this again. Oh, is she crying because she didn't get accepted? Oh no! Undistinguished from reading university acceptance letters, not being accepted into any distinguished degree is a bit of a bummer. Okay, what is your painting skill at now? Okay, it's at four. I don't know if that's high enough, but let's try this again. So let's go university. Oh, enroll in a university. Hold on. Let's try this. Oh, okay. So we didn't get accepted into the distinguished degrees, but we could still go into like the other ones. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try and 
get her painting skill up and get her to reapply and then we'll see if she gets accepted to the distinguished degree can i reapply actually before i do that oh no you okay so we have to enroll in a university okay that's fine okay so i guess we're gonna go to foxbury foxbury because uh we don't really have a oh i thought it was wrong here okay so when you're selecting your degree so I want her to go into fine arts, right? So let's see what it says. The creation of culture is not easy, is not an easy task, but those enrolled at fine arts degree understand the importance of just the task. Throughout the study of the painting, photography, and violin skill, the program hopes to imbue the creative spirit of creation in all of its students. Degree benefits. A degree allows the entertain oh my god. A degree allows for entering at mid-level with significant bonus while increasing daily pay, job performance, and vacation days on the following career. So floor design, freelance, freelance, master of the retail, musician, and stylist. Well, what about art history? Well, what would that help? Art credit, patron of the arts. Hmm. hmm. Let's see University of Brightchester what we can go into. Because I want to build the robots. <laughs> like, so I think I'm going to change her to computer science. Physics. Okay, let's read the computer science one. So computer are everywhere. So learning to manage and program them as a smart move. Join the technical revolution within, with the computer science degree, which primarily builds the programming and robotic skill. Okay, a degree allows for engine entering at mid-level. Okay, so it's the same thing. So... So for computer engineering, freelance programmer, oracle, and startup entrepreneur, whereas physics, so whether you like to think big or think small, the physics degree has gotten, has got you covered from subatomic particles to the edge of our universe. This degree will help build the handiness, robotic, and rocket science skill along with the fascination of the way things truly work. Ooh, maybe we'll go physics instead. You know what? No, I'm going to go computer science because I feel like that's closer to the whole robot thing. Also, because it says specifically programming and robotic skills. So I'm thinking, you know, you program the robot to do whatever the heck you want. So for the class load, from what I understand from this, if you pick four classes, you can have no electives. If you pick three classes, you get an elective of all of these. Oh my God, there's so many. Sienna Bakley must complete 12 classes to graduate. Okay, let's do the three classes because an elective, unless it's different in the game, but usually an elective counts as a class. So let's see what we have. We have Adagio for synth DJ mixing, advanced shower singing, beyond selfie photography, Bic block video game history, chess mix, evidence and debate prep, gourmet cooking, human humanoid robotics. I think that's what we're going to take. Improvising and acting. Uh, mixed ability, mixology, parenting, don't do that. Let's scroll up. Uh, shred shred secrets of the guitar, spin, snag, swag, dance. The haunting pipe oi, oi, organ. <laughs> organ. The vampire lore of garlic. Trolling the forums for mischief. And writing fiction, what are we? So yeah, I think I'm going to go with the humanoid robotics. Because then we still have four classes. It's just we're not taking the core classes. So let's do that. So housing, I do want to go into one of the university housing because I want to see what this is all about. Okay, so number of beds, four. Number of beds, ten. Okay, what does this say? Sim may choose to live in university housing. This places Sims on campus living with other non-playable roommates. Okay, that's good. Also attending university. Housing costs will be paid per term and Sims are encouraged to bring everything they may need for university in their personal inventory before moving, as they will not be able to alter university housing directly once moved in. Students' essentials will be available for purchase at kiosks at the university campus. Okay, and then off campus. So Sims choosing to live off campus will move out of their current house and into another, allowing them to move in with other households or buy a new home. If the Sim intends to purchase a new place, it is prudent to give them enough funds to do so. Note that canceling during move out or will place your sims in my household bin so i do i want to go into the dorms first because 
when I was in my first year, I was in a dorm. It was a fun experience. So we're going to try and go to Wyvern Hall just because I like the roof better. And there's a cool door. <laughs> so let's go next. Okay, so now it breaks down what everything costs. This is cheap. <laughs> oh, you can get student house student loans. Oh, we're going to try that because I want to see what that's all about. But so our computer programming class costs 240 simoleons. Computer science degree class, 240. Computer science degree class, 240. Elective class, 240. And our housing is 341, which is a grand total of 1,301 simoleons. That is like... I paid a, a lot more for university, especially so like for me, when I went to university, the classes cost just as much as living on in student housing, like in the dorms. And uh, I can tell you right now, it was not $300. My application fee was not even close to this amount. It was a lot more than... Okay, we're not going to talk about how much university costs me. Well, let's pay with student loans. Sim will owe costs plus interest, which equals about 1,366 simoleons total. Loans amount will be will belong to the student. So does that mean that our family funds will, like, go away? Let's see. Let's apply. Do I have to play with these sims? I really hope not. Oh yeah, you can you can transfer an amount. So let's say that our parents are really nice and they're gonna give us five thousand simoleons. And uh, let's go. What? I have to play with them. What is this? I don't want to play with three sims. I just want to focus on my sim. All right. Well. <laughs> Here is our new family, apparently, because we have no choice. She's clearly not happy about it. But uh, I will end the episode right here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to the university. In the next part, we'll see her room. We'll see how we can decorate. And hopefully we can go to our first class. So again, if you enjoyed watching, please, please, please comment, like, and subscribe down below. It means a lot to me when you do. And it lets me know that you enjoy my content. And I will keep doing such. So again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.